As a young kid, I wanted to be Indiana Jones and a marine biologist. I was the youngest of four, and all my siblings were three-sport athletes, and that was just the narrative that I was going to follow. It just so happened that I was a really athletic um, little girl, and sports consumed my life. I played collegiate volleyball at UMD, so when I got got to college, it just completely took over because it was it was my job. I was getting paid. I was on scholarship to play the sport. I guess I could compare it to like kind of feeling like a celebrity. Having all your meals paid for and having all your travel expenses paid for and always going to places looking the same, like we always had like travel suits and we had just this culture wrapped around it. And you know, your teammates were your family and your coach was your family. And then, you know, when you graduate, it's like the worst breakup ever. It's like that breakup that you feel where there's no explanation. Um, you're old news, see you later, I've moved on to the next thing. I've always been very physical and very intense. So I think like volleyball, fly fishing, like they're both very intense sports. Like you need to be intense and kind of obsessed. It wasn't until I graduated from college and moved to Mankato for work. I was working for the YWCA. And as a leadership um, trip, we were scheduled to do a trip with an outfitter for kayaking. and. I was really struggling. I was really struggling with my identity. Like, who was I? Like, I have all these skills that seemingly aren't transferable. I can hit a volleyball really hard and I can jump really high, but what does that do for me? And so going on that kayaking trip, it was, it was like a slap to my heart. Like, this is who you are. This is who you were when you were a kid. You were running around in cricks. You were running around in forests barefoot. You know, you were interacting with the, with the environment around you. Um, so that's when I started to rethink about this. There's a place called for the young. Life and dance and safety among the shimmering light and shade of the trees. Steal a bag and paradise long. With dark and hearts, we didn't count the cards. Forgot all we left behind. Life picks up speed before you know. We hold on for dear life, oh Lord. We're too proud to turn back now. And one day it all falls down and breaks our heart, and it breaks our crown. Brings us down where we see. It's gonna be hard. Turn around and let back in the night And John come Like a bird in the morning sun And all will be made real Once again Never in my dreams would I have thought I would be tying flies at a fly shop. That's something that I've always gravitated towards is working for small local businesses that you can truly have a pulse of how the community is doing, um, and I, I need that. So my other job is I am a outdoor educator at a nature-based preschool, and I work with three to five-year-olds with a nature play focus. It's been proven that if you foster that connection at a young age, it'll hopefully be carried into, in through adulthood. Um, is in this in our world now we need that we need compassion and we need empathy towards towards our greater systems you know towards our animals towards our plants towards our air and our water fly fishing and being on water or in or near water is a basic fundamental for me as a person when i kind of got into that energy of playing basketball and volleyball and softball and just 
becoming obsessed um, and becoming completely identified as this person that was playing these sports. Um, being a collegiate athlete was the end all goal. I would say now at this current point in my life, I feel the most grounded in who I am as a person and that I felt in a long time. Um, I always tell the parents of the children that I teach that the way you are when you're three to five years old is who you are as a human being. You know, unfiltered, untouched by the cruelty or uncruelty of the world. And so really hang on to that. And so I finally feel that I've kind of reconnected with, with my little girl self. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.